Hey folks, okay, today I decided to go ahead and post some of what I filmed during the high holiday time. As y'all know, I took a few weeks off of posting for the high holidays, but I did do some filming. I was out of town, I'll explain everything in the video, but I just wanted to pop on first and kind of explain what this is because this is definitely out of time order here in my life as this was before war broke out. So I just want to kind of get on and say what this video was about. I didn't want to totally scrap the content that I filmed because I think that it is fun and interesting and I did want to share the holidays with you guys. And this also allows me to take off a little bit more time posting this video this week and next week while I kind of continue to process everything that's going on and get settled back here into life. Okay. Just to kind of update you guys in general a little bit, I just kind of continue to process everything that has happened and just keep praying and just, we've had you know a lot of community challah bakes and Tehillim groups and things like that. So there's been a lot going on here on our front, what we can do and supporting our soldiers. Um, we have even a local kid here who is over there fighting right now. I've been praying for him specifically, as well as other soldiers specifically. It's, it's still a lot, it's still a lot, but I'm really trying just to, again, be present for my kids and here for them because, and just protect them from these atrocities. In the meantime though, we have seen a huge uptick in anti-Semitism here locally, all over, but here locally as well. Um, yeah, uh, uh, it's, I, I, uh, I clearly don't know what to say about that other than, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have words for it. I don't. So, We're definitely not immune to this here in the United States. There have been um, anti-Israel protests and things that have happened here. Uh, we've seen um, anti-Semitic and anti-Israel graffiti. Um, I have friends who've been like out like at the zoo who had uh, people harassing them. It, just really ugly stuff. So, Please continue to pray for all Jews everywhere because this is definitely a frightening time for all of us. So that said, that's what the video is about today. And before we jump into today's video, I do want to give a big thank you to today's sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark VPN keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all of the information sent between your device and the internet. This keeps your personal data protected from big companies and cyber criminals. A VPN is a virtual private network. A VPN swaps the real location of your device with a new one. In other words, it gives you a new IP address. This way you can virtually travel to any country around the globe. Surfshark has over 3,200 servers in 100 countries. This allows you to access and unlock content libraries and streaming services in other countries. Think the entire library of Netflix. A VPN encrypts your online data and helps to secure your personal information when you're using free public Wi-Fi. This can be a gold mine for hackers. And just so y'all know, Surfshark does not store, monitor, or track what you're doing online. This means no connection or activity logs. Use my code FIREFLIES to get three extra months free. Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's absolutely no risk to try it out. And of course, I have left you all of the information down in the description box and in my pinned comment below. So be sure to check that out when you are finished watching my video here today. All right, now let's dive in and I'll talk to you guys about what I was up to while I was on break. All right, I said I wasn't going to post until after the Chagim, until after the holidays, but I didn't say that I wouldn't film. Okay, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Khana and this is Jar of Fireflies. And here I make videos all about my life as an Orthodox Jewish homeschooling mother of four. And today, I'm not at home. 
Okay, I am actually in New Jersey. I'm up here in Lakewood, New Jersey. It is gorgeous up here. It's been raining a lot, but it is beautiful. I mean, there's like trees everywhere. Y'all know this is like my dream, all the trees. It's so pretty. It's been raining pretty much since we got here. I've been here for a little over a week and it's been amazing. It's been absolutely amazing. I've took like the whole like week and a half, whatever off of work. So I haven't filmed anything in about two weeks. I just posted the video the other day before we left and I guess I'm ready to film again. I'm done with vacation. <laughs> Not really. I love the vacation. It is so much fun. So um, anyways, we came up here to New Jersey. We have a lot of family that lives up here. And so we came up here to celebrate Sukkot uh, and Yom Kippur with the family and Shmini Atzeret and like all the holidays of the high holidays except for Rosh Hashanah which we did at home in Texas but we're up here in New Jersey for several weeks it's amazing this is our sukkah behind us by the way this is the sukkah here at my sister's house so we're up here um celebrating everything and I'm gonna do a recap of kind of what's been going on this whole week and all of that but I just wanted to pop on here real quick as we're getting ready to go into Sukkot which starts tonight and, and just kind of say hi. Okay, so I just went out to a different part of the house. Okay, so anyways, we're in New Jersey, but we had to get here. So we had our travel day first. Um, we came out here on a Thursday. So the travel day was wake up at like 3 a.m. And then we went to the airport because we had like a 6 a.m. flight. So we had to wake up really, really early to get up, get everybody ready, get out the door and get on the road. Sorry, I don't even have a tripod with me. So the quality of this video will be subpar. But, you know, like I said, I wasn't even going to film at all, but then I decided, you know what, I'll at least start talking a little bit in this video about the trip. And then there'll probably be multiple videos about the trip by the time that we're done, because I might film more later. I don't know. But anyways, so we got to the airport, we got on our flight, everything was fine. Flew down here, got here around lunchtime, and yeah, got here to the house here away from the airport because we had to go to like the rental car place and we had to get here and everything. It was really cool to see kosher food in the airport. There's always like kosher snacks and stuff like that, but you could get like an actual kosher sandwich at the airport here in New Jersey, which was pretty amazing. So anyways, we got here to my sister's house. We got all settled. There's a lot of traffic driving by. Sorry about the noise. Maybe it's too much noise. Okay, I felt like there was too much traffic noise out there. So now I'm in the sukkah. Well, here's the sukkah. Ta-da! It's very nice, it's very nice. I like that it has windows because it's nice and cool outside. Um, we've got some lights hung up here. We've got some decorations inside that the kids were working on, but we have not put those up yet. It's been raining, y'all. It's been raining here quite a lot. Okay, so we get here to my sister's house. We kind of get settled and what do we do? What do we do? I don't know, we just kind of got settled and hung out, kind of unpacked a little bit. I mean, we're basically leaving out of suitcases for the next several weeks, but that is okay. And, and the kids are playing with cousins and whatever. So then that evening, my husband and I went out to dinner. So that was super nice. It was just the two of us because we could leave all the kids with his sister. And it was just really fun. We just got to like hang out and enjoy a nice dinner together at a kosher restaurant. After dinner, we stopped by a kosher grocery store to pick up just a few things that we particularly wanted, snacks and what have you for our family. And that was just a whole experience of its own. Okay, <laughs> so you all know that one of my favorite dates to go on with my husband, Mr. Firefly and I, we love going to the grocery store on a date and that was totally what we did. It was super fun and the entire grocery store was kosher. Like just a regular grocery store where literally everything was kosher. I walked through the whole grocery store and I'm like, wow, wow, wow. Like everything was kosher and it was amazing. And I picked up some cold brew coffee. Um, I got some candy. I got some yogurt. There's just so much more stuff. And I just kind of oohed and awed at everything in the store. So that was the entire first day that we were here. So then the next day was pretty much just prepping for Shabbat. I was back again at the grocery store. <laughs> the next day I picked up a candy tray for us to have for dessert uh, during our Shabbat meals. I made sure I got a special breakfast for the kids, which was like little individual packages of cereal. So that was super fun, just a treat. I mean, whatever, we literally, when I got back to the house, found out we had the exact same cereal in a box, but I did not know that when I bought the little individual packages. So that is okay. 
So anyways, then we had Shabbat and it was raining pretty much the whole Shabbat. So we really just stayed home. We didn't go to the Beit Knesset, to the synagogue. We just really stayed home and that was it. Just kind of hanging out, having our delicious meals, enjoying all of the family. It was lovely. I really, really enjoyed it quite a lot. Okay, then comes Sunday. Now on Sunday, <laughs> I started the day by doing like three loads of laundry. How we needed to do like three loads of laundry when we'd only been here for a couple of days, I don't know, but it happened. We also only brought like three days worth of clothes because we could just keep doing laundry. So I'm wearing the same clothes like constantly and that's okay. Anyways, but we were also trying to get ready for Yom Kippur because Yom Kippur started on Sunday night. So we had a lot to do really quickly. I mean, we didn't have to prepare food so much. We had to prepare our meal that we ate right before the fast. And my mother-in-law was really taking care of that. And the men were all going to go stay in an Airbnb that was going to be close to like literally next door to the Beit Knesset, to the synagogue that they were going to go to. They wanted to go to a specifically Moroccan Sephardi Beit Knesset and not just a general, I guess, Sephardi Beit Knesset. They wanted particularly like the Moroccan everything because there's little differences in the way words are said or pronounced or maybe differences sometimes in the actual prayers for the most it's all the same but there are these certain differences and they really wanted their new sock like their way of doing things okay so about an hour before young people started they went and looked at the airbnb which they had gotten sight unseen and realized it was really huge and really nice so what was going to happen is the men were all going to go to the Airbnb and me and my sister were going to stay here with all of the kids and that was going to be fine. But then we decided we would just all go to the Airbnb and that was also fine. So it's like an hour before Yom Kippur started. So we quickly packed everybody up and left and we all went to the Airbnb and it was really, really nice. All right. So Yom Kippur is always a challenge. It's a fast and I'm a mom and I have small children, including a walking everywhere little baby firefly who I suppose is perhaps toddler baby firefly right now, but that's not quite as fun sounding as baby firefly. So we're gonna stick with baby firefly for a little bit longer, but know that he is walking around everywhere and he's awesome. Okay, so my fast was mostly following him around and making sure that he didn't go up or down any stairs, <laughs> but I just kind of carried my Tehillim book around with me and prayed all day and it was great. And I really enjoyed my Yom Kippur experience, even though it was not I mean, like, I would love to sit in the Bay Knesset all day. That's fine. But my more important job is being the mother to my children. And I was very grateful that I had brought my Tehillim book, Psalms, Tehillim is Psalms, for those of you who don't know. And I was just, I was able to just do that all day. And it was really, really nice. And I did get some of the tefillah, some of the prayers in for Yom Kippur. And I'm very happy with what I got done. And I got through the fast and that's all very good. Okay, so then when that was over, we broke our fast with some pastries and then went back to my sister's house where we had ice cream and coffee. And then I stayed up all night because coffee made me stay up all night because I had gotten off coffee before the fast as part of my preparation for the fast. So that little cup of coffee that I had there in the evening kept me up till like 2 a.m. But that again is okay. All right, so where are we at right now? So Yom Kippur started Sunday night, went through Monday. All right, so now we're on Tuesday. So Tuesday, I went shopping. My sister-in-law and I went shopping. I got a couple of really beautiful dresses for Shabbat, and I got some fun stuff for my daughter and some, you know, tzitzit for the boys and kippahs for the boys, things that we just cannot get where I live in Texas because we don't have stores like they have here in Texas. So I was like, that was like a thing. When we knew that we were coming up here, I told my husband, I was like, you set aside a budget because here's all the things that I want to buy while we're in New Jersey, because you just can't buy the stuff. We can buy it online, but it's not the same. It's nicer to come and be able to pick out something in person, try on clothes, things like that, see things, touch them, feel them, and then purchase them. So like that was kind of my plan coming up here. So we did a lot of that there on Tuesday. And then Tuesday night, we had a Hanukkah Tabayit, which is a party. It's like kind of a celebration, a dedication of a new home. And since my sister has just moved here, my sister-in-law just moved here from Israel with her family. They're the people who were staying at behind this sukkah is their house. <laughs> and so we did that Hanukkah Tabayat at this house here for them on, what did I say? Tuesday night. So there were a lot of people here Tuesday night. Now I missed most of it because baby Firefly was very tired and very clingy. And I was pretty much with him in a quiet room because it was very loud, the party. And I'm such an introvert, that was okay with me too. I was able to come down and say hello and meet people, 
but before too long, I just had to take baby Firefly upstairs and just kind of cuddle with him so he could get some rest. Okay, so I think we're up to Wednesday right now. So Wednesday was a shopping day that I took my daughter shopping uh, because she too is a girl and wanted to buy all the things you could buy in New Jersey, like fancy New York headbands is what we call them. It's very trendy for the girls that she knows to wear these like really big headbands with like pearls in them and bows and all this stuff. So I took her to a store that I'd seen the day before where they had a lot of that sort of thing. And I was able to get her a few headbands. She picked out um, a couple of new outfits. It was really fun to go shopping with her and she really enjoyed it. And then I took her over back to the grocery store. Literally, I went to the grocery store like almost every day, you guys. I went again today. Anyway, <laughs> I'm having so much fun. So I took her to the grocery store and we picked up some takeout sandwiches and brought them home. So it was kind of like a date day with my daughter. And then later that afternoon, um, we took the kids out for ice cream, uh, a kosher ice cream shop, which was so delicious. I had peanut butter cup ice cream, it was so good. And then and that was pretty much it for the evening. We just were hanging out playing games and stuff the rest of the day here at home. Then on Thursday, so this is yesterday at this point, on Thursday, I took my oldest out and that was kind of more of a date day for us where nobody else really wanted to go out but him. So we went out with this huge Judaica store. That was pretty amazing. He got some books. He got a very nice tzitzit to wear for Shabbat. And then I picked up a halakha book, a Jewish law book that I had wanted on a particular topic that I had seen that they had there. I saw it online and was like, no, I need to get it so I can read it on Shabbat. So I went back to the store and I got that. So I had gone and that was like kind of the reason that I went, but we ended up getting other stuff too. Um, at some point last week, the kids and I all went to that store and I can't remember which day that was, but there was a day where the kids and I all went to that store and they picked out some night like, toys and stuff there. Anyways, back to it. So Thursday, yeah, shopping with my oldest. And then, I don't know, I guess that was about it for that day. We went to a few stores because there were just some things I needed to pick up, some cleaning supplies. Um, the boys needed some new socks, just, you know, life, life stuff mostly that day. Oh, and we went to a different kosher grocery store, an even bigger one uh, that was really, really amazing. And we had so much fun. We bought a lot of fun stuff. It was very crowded. Everybody's shopping here before the holiday, but it was really, really fun. Okay, so now we're on to Friday, which is today. Today, my husband and I went out shopping with two of the kids. We went to a wine store and got some wine. All of the wine in this wine store was kosher. It was amazing. It was so much fun to go in there. I picked out um, some wine for my sister-in-law, some wine for me, and then just a couple other bottles for whoever. So we'll have plenty of wine for the holidays. And then we went in that same like strip of shopping, there were some clothing stores. So I went and looked in there and I got some more clothes. Cause again, that was like a huge thing that I really wanted to do when I came out here is get some new clothes. Cause it's so hard to find the clothes online. A lot of the, the, the stores that sell the modest clothing that I want to wear, they don't have websites. And then when they do have a website, the return policies are, are, are not ideal usually. And it's just hard for me to shop online anyways. I do much better if I can try clothes on because after as many children as I have had, I do not look like a model. It's very hard to shop for clothes online when the pictures don't look anything like me. So I don't really know how these clothes are gonna look on me after I buy them. That and like my size in one store, it might be totally different in another store, you know? So anyhow, so, um, so I went to these clothing stores that was there. I got my daughter another dress and some cute knee socks. And then I got a few shirts for myself and one more Shabbat outfit. And then we went out for bagels and had those at a little bagel shop, also in the same strip center. And there was a Judaica store. And of course I brought the kids some more toys. <sighs> Cause it's fun. I'll show you guys the toys. I'll like have to drop this, the picture of their toys in later. Cause they're really cute. They're like little figures of like Jewish families and stuff that are doing things. It's, I don't know, my kids are having so much fun with them and I think it's so much fun too. Okay, well, what else? So we have certain traditions that we have to do coming into Sukkot, um, like building our sukkah here, which my brother-in-law did. Okay, um, I stepped outside of the sukkah for a minute. It's actually literally after the first days of Sukkot right now. I got a little bit distracted by what? I don't even know, but here I am back in the backyard. We've had the first two days of Sukkot. It was absolutely amazing. We're getting ready for what we call Chok Moed right now, which is the middle days of Sukkot. But before we get into this, I will show you a little bit of the prep that the guys had to do to get ready here for the Sukkot holiday. And I'll do voiceovers to talk about that. 
Okay, so what Mr. Firefly is doing here is preparing his lulav, etrog, citron, and willows. Yes, I am holding baby Firefly, so we might have a little commentary in here. As, <laughs> yes, lots of commentary. Anyways, these together make up the Arba Minim, uh, translates to the four kinds. So these are something that we will use during the holiday of Sukkot. So we basically shake them inside of the sukkah. Jewish unity is one of the central themes of Sukkot and the four kinds, this Arba Minim, they symbolize four types of Jews with differing levels of Torah knowledge and observance. So bringing them all together is representing our unity as a nation of Jewish people. So despite any differences that we have. So in order to beautify the mitzvah, we're fastening together these four things. And that is just, it's just a way for us to beautify the mitzvah, make it look very nice. And, and then we will shake it there in the sukkah every day on Sukkot. Okay, so then we had the first two days of Sukkot, which were just really, really lovely. We just enjoyed our meals. The first day it was raining. It rained like a lot, so we didn't get to eat in our sukkah until the next night. Okay, I'm adding in here while I'm editing that we did do kiddush in the sukkah the first night in the rain, and we washed and had our bread out there, a little a kazayat worth of bread. It's about the size of an egg, so a certain amount of bread in the sukkah, and then we did the rest of the meal inside out of the rain. But yes, we were out there in the rain, we are obligated on the first night of Sukkot to eat out there really pretty much no matter what the weather, as long as there's not like a danger to our lives. So that is that, back to the video. So for the second night and then the second day lunch, so that would be yesterday. And we also went over to our neighbor's Sukkah and had like a lovely dessert over there. And I'm trying to make a match. <laughs> Jews are really into matchmaking. No, we date for the purposes of marriage and there was a single guy there at the table. I was talking to his mom. I was like talking to him and I was like, you know what? I think I have a girl for him. I think I have a girl. So I don't know, stay tuned. We'll see if that works out. <laughs> but I'm gonna set them up and they're gonna go out on a date. I hope. I haven't talked to her yet, but that's the plan. Anyways, okay. So what I'm gonna do now is turn off the camera and start a new vlog. So the next video that you see will be a vlog of some more of my trip but I'll take the camera along with me and show you guys more of stuff along the way. So less of me chit chatting like this and hopefully more of me showing you this really cool city of Lakewood. Thank you so much for tuning in today. As always, I really appreciate you. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Helps my channel out, out a lot. It lets me know what kinds of videos you guys like to see. And of course, drop me a comment down below. Just let me know how things are going. Your comments help my channel out a lot as well. And don't forget to check out all the information that I left for you below about Surfshark. All right, I will talk to you all soon and I'll commence filming in a few moments, but you'll see it in a week. Okay, so anyways, we get on, where was I? Where was I? All right. So anyways, we get here, all the glares, the glares and the glasses. I still need to get used to this. Do a lot of games. It's been a lot of fun. That was a B. That is a B.